It's for you. So I'm stabilizing with my right hand. I'm mobilizing with my left. And I've got a dorsal glide. And I've got a palmer glide. I can also do a radial glide and an ulnar glide. And these are really flexible joints, especially when you go dorsally and medial and laterally. There's a lot of joint play here. So I want to feel when I do accessory motion testing for the joint play. Then thinking about for mobilizing, well, if I'm thinking about, again, the convex concave rule, this is con what on con what? Concave on convex. Therefore, in order to improve extension, I would glide which way? Dorsally. Everybody okay with that? Now, with the IP joints, it's basically the same, but you're going to feel a big difference in the amount of joint play. But I'm going to go to the distal end of the proximal phalanx and the proximal end of the middle phalanx. You got all that? Yeah. So I see Potter's. Uh, Potter's. <laughs> whatever her name That's is. That's a new one. That's the old name. Johnson. Well, no, no Potts. Potter. Potts. 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 I, I gave you a third Harry name now. Potters. Harry Potter's. Anyway, I can't remember people's new names. I've got enough trouble with the old names, obviously. And I can do a palmer and dorsal glide here and a medial and lateral glide here using the same grips for both the PIP and the DIP joints. These are okay. Some, these, are some, these are some joints where Tosla and I 